Well, it's been a little less than a week since we last saw you. And we missed you. Yeah, we did. We missed <laughs> I have a you. feeling you're missing us. <laughs> we uh, did our Christmas show last Wednesday. You're seeing this one this Wednesday. This will be like our New Year's end of year type of a uh, performance, I guess, right? Yeah, we just need to wrap up Scotchmas and some other unfinished business. And we have one more tasting for you as well today. So what we did was, I, I did this today. I lined up I'm all, so these, proud of him. all these bottles exactly where they were when they came into the house, except now they're on top. And uh, you, as you saw in the beginning, I took a, a, a video of it going all the way around it. Now we want to give you our evaluation and give you our top five out of the 24. Now, that doesn't mean that we didn't like the rest of them. It's just that these were the ones that really made an impression on us, right? And as some of you had asked, I put together a little grid, a spreadsheet of all the 24 drams, where they're from, what the alcohol content is, whether they were a blend or a single malt, and some notes about the flavor. So uh, we'll put that in the description box in case you ever want to refer to it of this wrap-up. Yeah, video. in fact, I'm going to use this uh, for, for my five because she has it memorized. I don't memorize this. Well, I created that list this morning and it's all very fresh. In <laughs> so mind. who's going to go first? I'll go first. All right. So you all know that I like all the Speyside whiskeys. You know that I'm a big Balbini fan and uh, Glen Fittick and the Glen Goyne. But what surprised me in this tasting was how much I loved the coastal whiskeys, none of which I had tasted before. I love the Talisker, especially that Port Re, wonderful, and the Tobermory, and the Wolfburn. I just love that that sea salt. Um, it, it's additional flavor. It just takes me right to the coast, and I love those. I would buy any of those. All right, me. I'm a little more formal, and I have to have my cheat sheet here. So I'll tell you the. You're so cute. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. <laughs> I like I like them all, but I, the one that really hit me when we first started this thing was number two, which was called Rock Island. It's a blended whiskey, a uh, blend of island whiskeys, and like she was saying, it has. Uh, I'm, I'm using her notes here: sea breeze, peat smoke, and spices. Love that one. Really, love that really, combination. Yeah, I love yeah. that combination. Yeah. Then there was the Glen Phoenix. Uh, I don't know how to say that. So Solera. Solera, yeah. Solera. That, that, that was a 15 year old uh, Glen Glen Fittich. It was also. Uh, Speyside, 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 River Speyside, Speyside. Mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, cherry and citrus. It had, uh, I don't know, a sweetie kind of yeah, a taste a to fruity, it. Fruity, a little yeah, bit fruity. fruity. Mm -hmm. All right, that wasn't really a, a peaty one, but I really like that one. And we do have Glenfiddich in the house all the time. So uh, let's skip down to Wolfborn Langskip. Okay, I said that right. That was one from the north coast of Scotland. That was one of my favorites as well. Okay. That was also the strongest one. Single malt. It was uh, from northmost of Scotland, yes. Earthy, slightly peaty, but just that little bit of peat that really, I don't know, just took it over the top, you know? And it had high alcohol content. It really yeah. had a zing to it as well. Now, this one had that taste of leather in it. It was dead, uh, what Mortlock. Yeah, the yeah, Mortlock. Mortlock. Very leathery. Yeah. A spicy, a lot of spice, and uh, just that taste of leather. I, I really like that one. But the one that really got me... Day 24. I didn't even get a, a, a real good sample of it. He didn't pour that right. No. I got more of that Lagavulin than he did. And by the time I asked for it, it was gone. Yeah, so. he said, do you have any of that left? <laughs> so I priced that at a local liquor store. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, maybe someday. <laughs> Lagavulin. Uh, it's, the 16-year-old. Uh, okay, massive peat, massive smoke. Very, very good. And you know what we bought yesterday? That, uh, which has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this, but uh, tell me what the thing, the bottle you just Well, bought. like I said, the Lagavulin was very expensive, and he wanted something peaty, so I bought Laphroaig, yeah. the 10-year-old Laphroaig, really? which anybody who knows your I Love Malts, that's uh, that's one of those ones that tastes like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, had a, I had a little taste of that last night. Oh, man, is that stuff good? Wow. Just it really is good. a new year. Yeah. Want to ring it in with the good stuff. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take, uh, well, it's going to be a little break for us, but we're going to be right back. We're going to taste. We're going to taste a new whiskey. We're excited Brand new. to introduce it yeah. to you, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, 
We had planned to do a special tasting in honor of New Year's, and we had, I think we told you, we had ordered the proper glasses for sipping and nosing Scotch whiskey. They arrived half an hour ago, the Glencairn glass. Jim Stark, we're set up now. We can't wait to actually sample whiskey in a proper glass. This glass has a lovely history. I'll actually put a little three minute video, I'll put that in the description box in case you're interested in this glass and how it came about. Um, there's a lovely little story. Okay, so what we're tasting today is the Sassanac. Yes, and this was actually the first bottling of this, which was back last year, 2019, in March, right? Right. And I don't, how many bottles did they actually? 10,000 bottles was the first, and we ordered this a while ago. We have never opened it, waiting for a special occasion. And the funny thing about it is it couldn't be shipped to Nevada. Correct. Yeah. They had only a, <laughs> gotten a license for five states at the time, California being one, Nevada not. So we shipped it to our son's house. <laughs> Something bad happened in the meantime, Yeah, though. in the meantime, we had <laughs> we something had going on. So we never even picked the thing up until just recently. Yeah, honestly, we it was delivered to our son on March 31st of this year, <laughs> and we picked it up at the end of July, and we've been holding it for six months almost, waiting for a special Sounds occasion. like we need to crack it open. Now, so. it's, your, it's your bottle, so I'm going to let you crack it open. Okay, sure. So, little history about this. It comes from the Great Glen Company, which was founded by actor and philanthropist Sam Hewen, a Scotsman. From he, Outlander. Yeah, he stars in Outlander, but he always wanted to create his own whiskey. This is a blend, and it's actually um, aged in Madeira casks, and it won double gold at the San Francisco Spirits Competition in 2020. So this is really a fine, fine whiskey. We're very excited to give it a try. So we've never opened it. We just broke the seal. And Ooh. We, we decided on the occasion of New Year's. How about I hold these and yes. then let's... Uh, let's just pour ourselves a just teeny Just a tiny, dram. tiny bit. That's good. Oh, I'm very excited. That's good. Okay, lovely. They get a big thumbs up for packaging. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a unicorn on the label. We'll take a picture of it and show you, which is, of course, the animal, uh, the national animal of Scotland. And uh, the spirit of home is on the label. It's inspired by the Highland landscape. Oh, I feel like I've been waiting for this forever. Oh, that is really, really smooth. Right, mm. there's no peat. Oh, it's, that is mm. really smooth. Oh, that burns What's too. What's different about it? It has a little burn. I it has like a little it. sweetness as well. It does. Um, wow, that's different. That's amazingly good. Delicious. Very good. Here's to all kinds of new beginnings in 2021. Yes, here's the toast to uh, 2021. Let's really hope that uh, 2021 is our year, your year, everybody's year. We all earned it. <laughs> we all earned it. We <laughs> certainly did. And for all our fine folks uh, overseas, over the pond, as they say, uh, we hope that things open up pretty soon so that you can get back here because we miss you guys. We're missing you as much as yes. you are missing Las yes, Vegas. <laughs> we are missing you guys so much. Let's get things back. Let's to, get them better. Let's get them better. Let's get them better. At least better. All right, one more sip. <laughs> one and more sip. Be, one more sip. Happy New Year to everybody. I'll tell you what, Sam, <laughs> you did a good job on that. <laughs> Award-winning. <laughs> on that award-winning whiskey. That was really good. And we got one of the first bottles, so that, that's even better. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to uh, roll uh, the names of all the scotches from 1 to 24, and uh, you'll see what they are. So if you want to stop and uh, check it out, and uh, the only thing is it doesn't have the peat, you know, if it's peaty or smooth or anything. Yeah, that'll be in the description box. It's just the box. names. But yes, in the description box, you will find that list. I don't know where that list went. Yeah, that I, I set it aside. Okay. Yeah. That list that, I, that Paula did that uh, has all the, you know, whether it's smooth, where it's blended, where it's uh, made and all that stuff. So let's run 
the list of the 24 scotches for our advent calendar right now. So there you go. That was all 24 scotch that we did uh, for our advent calendar. This is the first time we've ever done this and uh, we've gotten such a great response. I believe we're going to do it again, right? And many of you have said, let you know ahead of time so you can buy it and do it along with us. So when we make that decision, we will certainly let you know. I just want to say thank you for sticking with us. So many of you watched 24 <laughs> days in a row during the holiday season during December, the busiest time. Thank you for taking time out of your day to hang around with us. <laughs> and now it's time to get on with the new year. Be safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you all again next year in 2021. We do have a video coming out the first Sunday of 2021, and that'll be coming up this coming Sunday. Back right? on the strip, yes. So look forward to that on Sunday at our usual time. All right, officially now, Scotchmas 2020. Done. Done.